Laravel provides convenient methods and URLs for verifying email ID of newly registered user. But when it comes to REST APIs, Laravel doesn't provide out-of-the-box APIs for email verification. So today, I'm gonna show you how to use the inbuilt Laravel email verification methods and notification template to build email verification APIs really fast. Let's start. If you have a registration API in place, then all you need to do is add send email verification notification function on user after user is created. In user model, if you want to see the implementation of this function, then you can find it here. Let's define the endpoints route get email slash verify slash user ID with action at verification controller at verify and route name is verification dot verify. Make sure to keep this as your route name. Next, do the same for we send verification controller at Resend and route name is verification dot resend. Create this controller using command php artisan make verification controller. Open this controller and define a new function verify which expects the ID and request. Now email will contain a temporary signed URL so we need to verify the signature first. If not request has valid signature then respond with unauthorized request error. This function expects an API code. Now we defined some methods to keep our response consistent. To know more you can watch suggested video link above or you can even return JSON directly from here. Let's define the API code in API code.php file. Invalid email verification URL with error code 253 and use it here. Find user using user ID from request and pass it to find or fail function. If user has not verified email, then mark email as verified. Finally, redirect it to your web application URL. For now, I'm just redirecting it to the default welcome page of Laravel application. Now, let's create resend function as well. Define a new function resend. If auth user has verified email, then return bad request error. Again, let's define the API code in API code.php file. Email already verified with error code 254. If email is not verified, then send email verification notification to user and respond with success message verification link sent on your email id we are almost done now we just need to define error messages for our error codes in localization file api.php invalid slash expired url provided and email already verified now let's snap these messages with error code in response underscore builder dot php file. That's it. Let's try them in Postman. Create a new test user.
Now since I have configured mail service to use log file for email, open laravel.log and here is our email with email verification link. Copy it and call this URL. And as expected, we are redirected back to our welcome page. If you would like to see the notification file from which this URL is generated and sent in email, then you can check this file and here is the function. Login using the test user and if we try to call recent API then we will get an error email already verified. Let's create another test user. Try again in recent API and it has successfully resent the link to email ID. Link to the entire code is given in the description. That's all for this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to like and share. And if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe to the channel.